are probably wondering, why am I such an idiot? The reason is because we're doing another Energy Week reading and we're starting for the week um, May 28th to June 3rd and this is the week where you have to be full on and, but if you are full on, you have to also be able to take the consequences for any fight that you pick because this week we are obviously in Gemini, we have a full moon on the 29th, this is the Tuesday this week which is actually called the flower moon uh, in Sagittarius which is the, um, the, the star sign that has the, the, the full moon in so to speak and this is going to be probably a fortnight of very competitive energy so we will see if this is reflected in the um, overall energy for the week and in the um, individual uh, energy but it is important to realize that a lot of people in the, in the coming week will be quite competitive um, and you have to make sure that you speak your truth and stand your ground. But let's have a look at what's going on uh, for, the, for the whole week. Before we go into the individual star signs, and we're starting with um, uh, Gemini, sorry, as I said. Um, we're looking at the overall energy for the week ahead. Let's have a look what is important to all of us, individual uh, and um, regardless of what um, star sign we're actually in. Let's have a look what the guides want us to know. Right. Actually, energetically speaking, quite a good start to the new week because we have the Kingfisher and the Frog. And what it really means is you will get through the week just fine. And if, there, if changes are coming your way, no matter what life throws at you, you will be fine. So I mentioned earlier that it's going to be a competitive week. And what the guides are saying is, even if it is competitive, you don't have to back down, but you also don't have to fight because no matter what happens to you, you will be fine. The kingfisher is the animal that can work on any tree no matter how crooked it is. And the tree, even if it is slightly crooked, represents your life. And no matter what, what happens in your life, you're going to be fine. Right? And then the frog, being an amphibian who can live on land and on water, um, it logically follows uh, that the meaning obviously is that no matter what happens to you, life continues and you will be fine. So in other words, even though it's going to be um, a competitive time for, the, for at least a fortnight uh, due to the full moon that we're having and people will probably, you know, um, show off a little bit, if that makes sense, a lot, sort of at work because they all want to get somewhere and they probably uh, won't hesitate to step over you, right? So if you're a person that is kinder, uh, probably more spiritual, that doesn't want to fight, you know, you, you have just have to remember that this week is going to be competitive, um, so you probably have to put up your A game, so to speak. But at all times, when you feel like I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to be like the rest of, of the people, um, you will be fine by not being like them, if that makes sense, right? So that's just the overall energy for the week. Like I said, we're looking at May 28th to um, June the 3rd. Let's have a look at the individual star signs, starting with Gemini. So for Gemini we have the Heron and the Dog and this is interesting because it means that things will come to you this week. You would be one of those star signs that doesn't necessarily have to be competitive. Things will come your way, that's what the Heron does, he stands on one leg all day and when the fish comes he goes, thank you. So that's how this works. You just wait for things to come to you, don't panic, don't um, explain yourself, don't argue um, and that's what the Dog uh, uh, is, is here for, is to realize that you know, loyalty starts with you. Be true to yourself and let things come to you and you're going to be fine. So Gemini have quite an easy um, stance this week, so to speak. And now we're moving into can Cancerians, Cancer. Let's see what we got for Cancerians. Okay, you have the bear and the spider. And what that really means is that there's a part of you that still needs to heal. Uh, from, from stuff that has happened to you. Um, but what the bear also signifies is the fact that the bear, even though he has his vulnerabilities, is a very, very strong animal. So you're getting through stuff quickly, you're getting through stuff just fine, and you have made a ton of progress. And the spider is saying to you, because it's the animal of protection and wisdom, you follow your own lead, you will be fine. It's important to realize it doesn't matter what, what, what you think people think of you, if that makes sense. It's all about realizing you're on the right path, things are working much smoother than they, they, they probably did for a while, 
and um, you're not alone in this. That's the other thing about the spider. The spider creates the web of life. So they're quite good cards, but you need to also remember this week, uh, 28th of May to the 3rd of June, that you're still healing. So if you feel you have a day where you feel a bit off, as long as you tell the people that you miss that you have a bit of a day off, they will probably back off and it's all going to be good. right? So that was quite um, short and sweet for, for Cancerians going into Leo. I'm actually drawn to another deck for Leo. It's quite interesting. Let's have a look. <coughs> right. Okay, for all you Leos, you have the temple, uh, sorry, the, sorry, the temple, the TP and the heavens, and the, the TP is a bit like your temple. It's your, it's your home. What is important for Leos this week is no matter who you with, no matter where you are, no matter where you work or live, you need to feel at home. It's really important to, to not feel ostracized, to not feel on the edge of things, right? So, so make every place your home this week, give it your all, and you have the heavens, which means that, that your guides are very close to you this week. They're all around you. So it's a good week. It sounds a bit weird, but this is a good week. You know, remember we talked about how competitive this is going to get in the next two weeks. But this week, for all you Leos, it's important to just settle down and ease in a little and uh, let other people work, 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 their, work their asses off, so to speak, <laughs> you know, and argue. Don't argue. Just be, just be yourself. It's all going to be good, right? That was Leos going into Virgos. Okay. Now... Um, obviously, there's a reason why we go into the individual star signs before we go into the uh, sorry into the overall energy before we go into the individual star signs. And as I said numerous times, it's going to be a very competitive time. And in uh, Virgos, it's actually reflected because you have the horse and the badger. So this is going to be a week where, <laughs> if you can take a, do a few days off, please do so, uh, because the horse that you have is about freedom. You need space this week, and the badger, a uh, very cute uh, animal indeed is very misunderstood and so the, so the combination of the two animal guides basically means you need a lot of space because this week uh, in particular um, people will very likely misunderstand you and so um, no matter what you explain they might not get it so it would be a week where you um, take a leave take some leave you know just go somewhere do your thing and also because you have the horse as a freedom uh, animal that tells you you need space remember how majestic you are it's all gonna be fine, right? So there was Virgo going into Libra. Let's see what, what we got for Libra. So, for Libras, you have the Caribou and the Lion. And that means that this week it's important for all your Libras to have boundaries. Show people when they overstep the boundaries. Show people when they um, you know, take it for granted that it's just not on, so to speak, because you have um, every right to tell people off and um, I wouldn't go as far as saying that that um, Libras have to put them in, into their place if that makes sense but it's important to have boundaries this week and, and because you have the Caribou the Caribou is a beautiful animal with antlers every time you have antlers it means you're actually quite protected nothing's gonna happen to you as long as you speak the truth you're quite protected by the guides and the Caribou has what is called a split hoof so when the terrain gets difficult they don't sink in so if you speak your truth, keep people at bay, you know, tell them that there are boundaries, um, you're going to be fine. You're not going to sink in. Um, and what that really means is that a lot of people actually come around to the idea that they actually do take your, too much of your time. And, um, and as long as you realize that, that you can speak your truth um, and have some boundaries, you're going to be good. Okay? Moving on to Scorpios. Like I said earlier, we're talking about the week May 28th to June the 3rd, 2018. And now we're going into Scorpio. We have another animal here with antlers. We have, a, we have a, a white deer and a peregrine falcon. In other words, for Scorpios, this week, albeit a, a competitive week where people are probably, you know, all a bit more aggressive is probably the wrong word, but they're, they're a bit more going for stuff. Um, you have the peregrine falcon. And remember, the, every falcon is a bird of prey. So there's nothing that you need to do um, that makes you look weak. You know your stuff. You can be cool. You don't have to participate I or partake in, in any showing off stuff, any, any you know, 
uh, fighting your corner things this week because you see your, your other falcon and that means that you see things coming. We had that before that uh, in another star sign where you they see things coming. So you too, uh, Scorpio, will see things coming. So therefore you're quite safe. Um, what is important uh, to mention is because you have the white tail deer. Um, if you are being chased during the day, you will probably, um, retaliate is too strong a word, but you will be really annoyed by people being too much on your on your tail so to speak um, so tell people off you know you know what you need to do you know what you're doing um, if people uh, annoy you if people think you know they have to tell you um, that you let's just say for fun you know you have to fulfill a deadline by five o'clock if you have already heard this at eight o'clock in the morning that means you know what you need to do you will need other people to tell you that again and again and again so keep people a little bit at bay, uh, at bay and um, and let them know that you have fully understood what is expected of you and if you do it at your own pace. Okie dokie. Now we're going into Capricorn. Now, um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Yeah. See, always good if you have someone else with you that pays a little bit of attention. <laughs> <laughs> Sagittarius, you're absolutely right. For Sagittarius, you have the shaman and the maze mother. And that's actually quite good. There's one pattern here that I see already. There's a lot of you uh, so far are quite protected by the guides because you have the shaman which means there's loads of really powerful strong guides around you um, so you are fully protected and the maid's mother really means that you know um, cultivate your life plant seeds in your life um, surround yourself with beings that um, are on your side that let you do what you need to do at your pace that's all you need to do this week no stress um, and you're going to be fine because you're, you're quite protected by the guides this week. Penny, thanks again for telling me about the, the Sagittarius. I would have forgotten it completely. You're welcome. And now we're finally going into Capricorn. <laughs> As I always say, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why we actually put the um, the um, the star sign in writing. Yes, because you know, when I lose it, at least you know where we are at. So we are we're at Capricorn now, and that's interesting. You have two Capricorns have have two birds. You have the gull and the peacock. And that means that, um, in a way, you need to have a plan, especially this week. Don't just, um, sounds a bit wrong, but don't do things half hazardly. You know, think about what it is you want to do this week and, and have a plan to do it. And, um, and also, this week is a week where you should probably allow yourself to be a bit more trusting. It's quite important because you have the peacock. And the idea about the peacock's wheel is not that he puts it out because it is so beautiful, which obviously it is. It's because for the peacock, when he when he puts out to, uh, puts up the wheel, it has a lot of eyes, as we call it. It has a thousand eyes, and it is they, he he puts it up to confuse predators. Um, and there's a, so what that really means is that there's a part of you, um, Capricorns, that probably hides a little bit. You know, keeps people a bit too much at bay. And all they're saying is you can you can do that this week. But you also need to be trusting, um, because if you keep everyone at bay, you might not be able to manifest someone or something that you really want, you know, if you don't trust it fully. So that's just Capricorn going into Aquarius. That's this song, isn't it? It's the age of Aquarius. It's a bit of a pity that there's no song for every star sign. We could have had a sing-along here a little bit. Um, anyway, we're at Aquarius now. You have the turtle and the heron. Uh, we talked about the heron earlier, being the bird that lets things come to you, right? It's the bird that stands on one leg when a fish comes, he takes it. So the analogy is that things will come to you and you will recognize when they come to you and just uh, take it by, take it, uh, take it by, take it by, play it by ear, so to speak. But the other animal that you have, the other animal guide that you have is the turtle. So this week um, is not supposed to be a week where you rush things. Take your time this week. Things will come to you. You will not miss, miss out on any opportunities. Just take it as it comes and you will be will be fine. Okay? So that was Aquarius going into Pisces. My star sign is Pisces. Uh, so I'm always very interested to see what's, 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 what's in store for us Pisces. And I'm drawn to this deck. Oh. Ah, me likey, as they say. We have Takamoi, the god of rain, and an elk. Um, as you probably know, this, there's loads of animals here already so far that have antlers. So Pisces too are really, really protected this week. Um, 
And because we have the God of Rain, what it really means is, you know, this is a week where we can show our feelings and where we just, you know, acknowledge when we feel off or acknowledge when we feel super great. This is a week where you, uh, where our emotions, as Pisces, um, uh, are allowed to be at the forefront. You know, just show show your true colors. Don't hold back. And, and certainly, what is important for Pisces this week as well, uh, don't apologize for how you're feeling. It's these are your feelings, and so acknowledge them. You will be fully protected. And because you have the elk, which is one of those animals, even though they're massive, they're quite timid. Um, you will not fight people or ask Pisces. You will not fight people this week. We're not interested in fighting anyone this week um, because you know we, 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 we are who we are. And um, so that's a really important thing um, that you have. And also you have to, because Takumoi is the god of rain and uh, rain also denotes tears and water. So renewal will, what we, you know, when, you are, when we are ourselves this week, um, you, we, we get renewed. And if you feel like having a good, a good cry, always remember that tears are sacred medicine and just take it in your stride and let it all go, right? That was Pisces going into um, Aries. And for Aries, we have the, the cat and the goat. So for Aries this week, it's important. Remember, the, the, the full moon is on the 29th um, and that brings quite a lot of new, fresh energy, if that makes sense. Um, it's not necessarily all negative, to be fair, just because it's going to be very competitive, you know, um, you will be fine. Because remember, you have the cat, and as the saying goes, you know, um, cats have staff. <laughs> so what it really means is, um, you will be fine. You can remove yourself from drama um, any day. It's all going to be fine, and then you come back to it when you feel like it. Also important to remember that, that, that most domestic cats um, um, have long... Um, periods of rest. So it's a, it's a week for, um, for Aries to, to not get stressed out, do things your way, do them calmly um, and trust that everything will be fine because you have the goat which is an animal that hangs on two cliffs uh, on, on two legs on a cliff and doesn't fall. So the message is if you are calm this week and collected and do your things and stay away from drama you will be fine. Nothing's gonna happen to you. The other thing that I'm getting um, from my guides as, as we speak here is, uh, is for you to make sure that you don't lend any money to anybody. So we are with uh, Aries at the moment. Don't give money to anybody. It doesn't mean they're bad people, but they will be difficult. It's very likely to get it back. So um, look at your finances this week and pay attention to how you spend your money. It's just one of the things that the guides are saying to me um, to pass that on. Uh, and now we're going into Taurus. And the Tauruses have the rabbit and the bobcat. So this is going to be, remember, we have, a, we have a competitive two weeks. Taurus is a very competitive star sign by default anyway, which means it's nothing new for you. Um, you will just be fine. You take everything in your stride this week. But it's also a week, should people be too competitive? What that really means is they put you in a place where you don't belong in a way. Um, maybe it's time to leave because you have the rabbit and it, and it, and it denotes that the rabbit hole goes very deep and you have no idea how deep it goes until you explore it. So don't feel trapped this week. Don't try to sit something out. If you feel it's all going into an area where you're not, or in, you know, where you're not comfortable, um, think about or allow yourself to, to, to think about a way out and uh, start over again. Um, that's important because you have the bobcat, which basically also means that, that you are a person that has um, a lot of values, you have made a lot of progress in your life and you certainly do not have to hide your feelings. Right? So that was Taurus and then um, I think that was the last star sign, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's all we have time for and please remember this week, 2018 is my year, which means 2018 is also your year. Make it your year. This is the time. You have two weeks that are competitive, but it's still an awesome year because it's an 11, 11 year master number year. Um, things are fixable, so don't worry about people being competitive. And that's all we have time for. See you next time.